Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how we can add the uh, sweet alert to our project. So here is the sweet alert project and GitHub. If I come here, you know you may already know about this one. This is the default uh, alert, but this is the sweet alert that we are going to use. Plus, we are going to learn how you can let's say we create a user. After we create the user, it should close the module window and it should show a notification here that the user was created. So let's start doing it. First of all, we have to install it. So I click on the in installation. What we are going to use is we are going to use npm, of course. That's why we copy this command here. I will come to the application. Just open the terminal here and creating another terminal window. Then paste your code and say we are going to save it in our div um, the, um, list here in our package.json. So it will take a few seconds to install. Once it is done, just open your uh, JavaScript file here. We will open the app. We should import it firstly. We know that we have all our file here. We have forum. We have everything. So what I'm going to do is just um, quickly check out the documentation. This is that. If you are going to use ES6 model or TypeScript, just import it like this. So we are going to use the same method. So I will come here and I say we are going to import sweet alert from sweet alert so we just give it a name you can give it any name then we can say that it is going to be in the window model so everywhere in our application we are going to be able to use the swal so this is like common so i will save it then i will come to the user here if i come all the way down to our, to the function list here you know when we create a user we are creating this uh, we are uh, going to fire this function so what i'm going to do is once we create the user we push everything it should show us a notification here so what the notification should look like so if we look at the examples this is not what we want so it should not show that one this is not also what we want what we want is a toaster that should uh, display here so if i search for toaster here here is the example this is very basic if i click on this one it will show something like successfully uh, done here so what i'm going to do uh, is i'm going to copy this line from here easily you know it is going to be the whole code is here you can check out on code pane what this is going to do is they are, they are going to say that toaster is going to be equal to true the position they specify and then the, sh the timing they say so first of all we just w i just want to reference this globally here so i will just copy this line and coming to our application just open the app first of all we should uh, say that not try me we just register the toaster here to start, of course using the sweet alert and then we can use them later in our application what i'm going to do is i'm going to store toaster also to the window here is how you can do this one i will cut it and paste it all the way down there now anywhere in our, in our application we have to be able to use the toaster so this is easy like, like you just uh, put it in the window document uh, type that's why we can use it later in uh, our application everywhere so here is how we are going to use this i will save this file and i will come here and just copy the second part copy it and then i will paste it here so here is how it is going to be okay sign in instead of sign in we say user created successfully so if i save it for now let's see if it is working so let's create a new user first of all we refresh the page make sure you hard reload if you press ctrl shift r it will hard load your application and it will take all the new asset files that they have compiled so let's see if the toaster is going to work so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a user call sweet and let's say sweet at me.com then let's say she's sweet any bio you can write of course uh let's say they are an author and here is the password and if i click on the create you can see it is going to show us user critics successfully and if i refresh the page of course we are going to discuss them in the future video how we can refresh the page 
you know that it has created the user successfully so what I'm going to do is I just wanted to close the window close this model so how you are going to close the model in JavaScript and of course this is bootstrap 4 model here is how you show it you just say my model dot show and then here is how you hide it I cannot just hide it after we did our um, job for now but the thing is we just want to make something reusable so if you want to make a reusable code you have to write it like the way it should be written like it should be modular and later you should be able to use so instead of this ID all we need is the ID of our model so if I come all the way up here is the ID for now I will use it let's see if it is working but later what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you another method because for edit again we are going to use the same model the same fields everything just when people click on the edit it should automatically populate the data it should change the cre create new button to let's say update changes and it should um, bring some other changes so for now it is just fine if I come here and refresh the page let's create another user and see if it is working so this one is uh, let's say sweet 2 sweet 2 at me.com and we don't have any bio for this one he, she is an admin let's say and we create it and after we create it will close our model window so this is how we are going to do the, this one so I hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video and in the next video we will learn how we can Requery the data like if we create a user it should uh, Let's say it should say that we have a new record in our database refresh only the table So that is what you are going to do in the next video